Welcome to Farmer Agriculture. Salads, sandwiches, or pickles, our every food is literally incomplete without cucumbers. But have you ever thought about how you get cucumbers all year round? I mean, cucumber is a warm season vegetable, right? Well, not anymore. With modern techniques and advanced technology, millions of cucumbers are grown the entire year in greenhouses. In this video, we will discuss the whole process of growing cucumbers in a greenhouse. So, if you like cucumbers, watch this informative video till the very end. Also, hit the like and subscribe button to stay updated with more educational videos. Let's begin. Seeding. In a high-tech greenhouse, growing perfect cucumbers starts with tiny marvels of technology. The process begins even before the seeds touch the soil. Growers meticulously choose varieties specifically bred for greenhouse production prioritizing high yields and resistance to common diseases. Next comes the seeding itself. The seeds are nested in small trays, not with hands, but with advanced machines that ensure the seeds are sown at the right positions with precise distance. These trays are then placed into special chambers where controlled light, moisture, or other essential conditions are provided. Ultimately, the seedlings sprout from the trays quickly, which are then monitored with the sensors. Many automated systems even take over watering and feeding them a very weak nutrient solution. All this attention ensures strong, healthy seedlings that are ready to take the next step in their journey to becoming delicious cucumbers. Planting. While seeds take their time to sprout in the germination chamber, greenhouses are prepared at the same time. These greenhouses embed advanced technology. Not only the dirt or other impurities are removed, but the seeding material is also prepared, which is not soil. Instead of using soil, mixture of materials are used that not only boost the growth of the plants, but is also lightweight and easier to manage compared to soil. Some greenhouses might even explore hydroponics, a system where plants' roots dangle in a mist of nutrient-rich water instead of soil. Finally, it's planting time. Seedlings are carefully transferred from their trays to the prepared medium, spaced just right to avoid overcrowding and ensure each plant gets enough light and air. No matter how hot or cold is outside, the conditions are fully optimized inside the greenhouse with the required amount of moisture and accurate temperature conditions. When the greenhouses are prepared, a strong trellis system is installed alongside their walls. This system acts like a support system as plants climb comfortably and reach the heights of the greenhouse. Plant growth and maintenance. Now that everything is set up, it is time to take care of these plants until the cucumbers are ready. But gone are the days when we used to always stay close to our crops and guess when to water them. Today, with AI automated water irrigation systems, this problem is handled. The sensors and cameras are installed inside the greenhouse that monitors the plants 24 7. If plants require water, the sensors sense the drop of moisture and send a signal to the irrigation system, which then precisely water the plants with cameras. Not just water, nutrient mixed solutions are also used in the same manner to provide plants with essential vitamins. And minerals. Nature sometimes needs a little helping hand, especially when it comes to pollination. In some greenhouses, bumblebees might be introduced to play matchmaker, flitting from flower to flower to ensure a successful fruit set. But technology can also lend a hand. Automated vibration techniques might be used to mimic the natural buzzing of bees, stimulating flower development and encouraging the formation of those delicious cucumbers. A proper circulation of air inside the greenhouse is carefully maintained. When the plants grow, their leaves sometimes block the air passages. So, a little helping hand from humans keeps the greenhouse maintained. Regular pruning of the plants is done to ensure there is enough airflow and sunlight reaching every plant. And because prevention is key, these greenhouses employ a watchful eye. Integrated Pest Management IPM strategies are like bodyguards for the cucumbers. These techniques keep pests 
insects, or plant diseases away from the greenhouse. Harvesting. This process continues for 50 to 70 days until the cucumbers are fully matured. After confirming the maturity, cucumbers then enter into harvesting stage. The automated systems used advanced machines with sensors installed in them. These machines are equipped with specialized scissors that move through the rows. When it detects a ripe cucumber, it carefully cuts it down and saves it in the basket. This process goes on until the whole cucumber crops are harvested. Some greenhouses still prefer the traditional ways of harvesting. Human workers check out every plant one by one, cut the cucumber plants from the stem, and move the cucumbers into the storage. No matter the method, speed is key. Ideally, harvesting happens in the cool of the morning before the greenhouse heats up. They're whisked away to a pre-cooling station, a cold room that rapidly lowers their temperature. This quick chill helps maintain their crispness and slows down the natural process of ripening, ensuring they stay fresh for longer. Sorting and grading. Not all cucumbers are created equal. After the cool-down spa treatment, they head to a special area for a very important process, sorting and grading. To sort them according to the size, cucumbers are unloaded onto a conveyor belt, which takes them to digital sorters. These sorters have high-speed cameras that take multiple pictures of every cucumber from different directions within milliseconds. Based on these pictures, the machine can accurately guess the size of each cucumber, but the sorting is not completely done yet. In order to confirm the accurate size, the cucumber moves to weight stations where weight sensors precisely measure their mass. This helps categorize them based on weight, which often correlates with size. Based on the information collected, clever machines called diverting gates come into play. These are essentially chutes that can be electronically controlled to direct each cucumber down a specific path depending on its grade and size. Imagine them as the backstage coordinators, guiding each cucumber to its designated area. Finally, the cucumbers reach designated packing stations based on their grade. Here, they'll be carefully packed into appropriate containers designed for different markets or uses. And finally, the packaged cucumbers are then distributed in the markets, and you get your hands on them for making salads, sandwiches, and other delicious food recipes. What do you think about this seeding and harvesting of millions of cucumbers in greenhouses? Is this a better way than growing them in the fields? If yes, let us know why in the comment section. Also, give us a like and subscribe to our channel so stay in touch with our more educational videos. We will see you in the next video. Until next time.